how we get the best bank finance you know especially when we or or bank deal um if if i put it like that especially when perhaps you are are looking at buying multiple properties at the same time what are some of the things um should we do in order to be able to get the the amount that we want from the bank and the interest rate that we want from the bank so how exactly do we go about making sure that we you know we get the finance that we want and at the interest rate that we want very good question zama uh because to ensure that you get the finance that you want and to get the interest rate that you want you need to know your credit score because credit score plays a bigger role in terms of what interest the bank charges you the affordability you need to know how affordable you 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 are what excess money that you have how can you afford that right the bank will always give you something plus or they will give you something less it's always the case but it's up to you to stand in and say listen i cannot take this deal because of a b c d i know that my credit record is good so on what basis are you charging me the prime plus 2 that's the question you need to ask the banker once the banker gives you the reason and it ties into the fact that you are actually in a better position then you say two things i do i never shop with one bank that's rule number 1 i will do all the four big commercial banks in south africa right <laughs> they, they one it's, it's funny enough there, there was a time a banker friend of mine called me a prostitute because i'm basically i'm basically shopping around with all this bank and whatever i get i come back and i say this but it's important because once you've done this and you've created that reputation next time the banker knows that they don't you, they, they are going to lose the deal if they don't negotiate the best rate for you so you actually make life you set a bar and and your bankers will then accept it especially if your if all the requirements are in place so the first the important thing is know that your requirements are in place ask the bankers the question why this rate and if it's something that you can stretch it out to 30 years 25 years because whatever reason that you have or because of your affordability then do it but the most important thing like i always talk from the investor side you can still do it with the home loan side i mean the, on the personal uh property side but the most important thing is can you afford it over the long period and if you can afford it then good but always negotiate with the bank they will always give you prime plus something understand why they're giving you that and then try to negotiate that remember the contract that you get from the bank is not cast in, in stones it's not like that there's always room for negotiations that's that there are certain clauses that the bank might not shift away from like doing a peripesso or the rest and by the way talking about peripesso another reason why i prefer doing bank finance is because normally it protects you from certain creditors because let's say things are bad and all creditors are coming to take stuff if you have or you've made a, a, a bad business move if you have uh, a fully paid home the the creditor can put their hands on it but there, there's no one that's always going to rank uh first to the bank the banks don't do that which is called peri pursue equal footing the banks will never allow that there's no equal footing so there's always a creditor that you owe that will always be behind when it comes to your asset which is your which is your properties and that's why i, I, I this is actually one of the main reasons why i do bank financing